Hey guys, welcome back to another Redstone video. Uh, today's episode is going to be about this single-use lock that I've just made. Um, it's actually really simple, um, but uh, for and I'll, I'll be rebuilding it with you guys just so you can see how it's done. Uh, but before I get into that, I'm just going to show you what it does. Uh, say this is a piston door. I'm just using this as um, you can really hook this up to anything you want. This, it's specifically designed for map makers. Uh, I got the idea from Vex, actually, um, because he was mentioning how he had, uh, on some of his latest maps, he's been building little shortcuts between areas, but you have to dig through the wall. Um, because he'll have a little sign that says, just dig and points with an arrow like this, and you'll just dig through the wall, and uh, eventually you'll come out in an area that you, you've previously been in. So that way, um, once you go through an area, and then exit out of it and go around, and then come into another area, you can just cut through back to the beginning, so you don't have to actually walk all the way around. Um, and this is another way that you would be able to do something like that, without requiring the player to actually dig through a bunch of blocks indefinitely, because sometimes he's has he had those walls like, you know, 16 blocks long, and if you don't have a pick or whatever, that can be really stressful for you. Um, and, you know, whatever. This just requires you to break one block. It's it's simple. Um, I just made it out of uh, sandstone. I mean, if of course, if you want it to be harder to break through, you can make it out of, like, not obsidian, unfortunately. Um, because that can't be pushed by pistons, but, like, stones, like stone stuff. Or, um, yeah, well, that's probably it. Stone. Stone whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, and you could do this with any material, too, like, that's pushable, at least, so, you know, you could do, like, bookshelves or whatever, and it, look, it would look pretty nice. Um, a nether brick would be hard to break with your fist. Anyway, so, what you do is, if, if this were hooked up to a door or whatever, like, you would make a, a double-sided piston door so that it's invisible on both sides, it's just hidden in the wall, until you, um, come up to a situation like, like, you'd come in here, and you'd have a piston door facing this way, and then a piston door facing this way, so that when they, when it's closed, you don't see from either side. Because that's one problem with my piston door over here, is that when you go ahead and open it up, uh, or close it, I should say, like, on this side, it's totally hidden. But on this side, you can see the pistons from behind. So it would essentially be this, just on both sides, so that way when it's hidden, um, it's completely hidden. So that way you wouldn't be able to get to it on the map until you actually have been to both sides and find this this lock. In which case, you would come up to here and break the dirt. It fills in the hole for you. No, you know, it's, it makes a nice clean wall. And it activates this. Now, uh, to show you how it works, I will reset it. And... There you go. Uh, so it's pretty simple. It's really simple, actually. All it is, is uh, this block is the block that you punch from the other side. Oh, right. Um, I was hoping to have it so that it could be in the wall, so that way you could have, uh, you know, just a nice little flush wall, but there's no way to send the signal to this block uh, in a way that I could break it off. Like, I could send signal, if this block was here, I could send signal from behind, but there's no way I could pull the power from that to make it a, an integral part of the circuit, because this block right here, I mean, I suppose, technically, you could just, um, like, pull in the power, <clears throat> pull in the power like this, and that's gonna mess it up, but, uh, you could do this, and pull in the power like that, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter where you get the, oh, except, that one doesn't want to retract, does it? That's strange. Okay, I guess you can't. Uh, that's probably because of that piston bug. Uh, that ruins so many people's things. But anyway, uh, so when you break this, that torch falls off, which uh, comes to this inverter and toggles it so that that piston gets powered, er, that, so that this piston gets powered, and then this piston. So it pushes this block down here up, and then this one pushes it forward. Um, and then this would just be the output over here, anywhere on this line here. Uh would go over to the, um, to whatever it is that you're powering here. 
So, uh, yeah. That's how it works. Let's just sleep real quick. Um, so, now to build one. Oop. So let's just uh, come over here and build our little two, three, four, five. Well, actually, I suppose it only really doesn't need to be five. I'll make it five just because it it fits nicer. Um, and then come back here, and this is where the the dirt is gonna be. Gonna it's just regular pistons too. No sticky pistons required. Um, so. Don't need to worry about that. You will put sandstone there and there, and that is all that's required. For those are the blocks that are going to be pushed to get it f to fill in the hole in the wall. And then we need another block here, and I'm just going to replace uh, these with not that one with uh, sandstone, so we can see where the power needs to go. You put a torch here with that on top of it and I am going to put the torch there right now so that it doesn't activate on accident. Let's put a repeater here and set it to 2, because if it's set to 1, it goes too quickly and this piston won't activate. So you'll you'll have sandstone in place of the dirt block, but it will only... Um, but it'll still be back here instead of pushing it forward into the wall. And then you just run redstone like this, and that way this torch can power both pistons and they're delayed properly and this doesn't need to be there. Um, and then this is where you can you can pull the power from anywhere here. Um, I You can't pull it from this way because that'll keep this block from being powered. Actually, that might still work. Hold on, let's, let's find out. That does work. Okay, um, because the block, the piston is down there, so that means this one right here is powering it because it's up. Because technically, this redstone here is powering the block beneath it, which powers the piston. So, anyway, um, let's just reset this. All right. So yeah, I guess you can pull the power through there. So really, just anywhere that you can possibly connect it to this redstone is all right. Or if you want it inverted, uh, actually, would this mess it up? If you pulled power from here, I'm not sure. Nope, that's perfectly fine. Resetting it would be weird, I think. Nope. You're good still. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's how you build it. It's pretty simple, really. Um, and actually, I think it's pretty small. I mean, it's entirely 3x3x3. Three by three by three. It's 3 blocks this way, 3 blocks this way, and then technically 3 blocks up because these two redstone here are on the third block. Um, but yeah, so that way... It's just a quick, easy way so that the player can come up and be like, oh, well, I can break dirt, no problem, and then they break it, and then the wall fills in, so there's no unsightly holes in the wall, and uh, you've got your door open. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see, uh, like I said, this was totally uh, inspired by Vex. I was watching him do a Spellbound Caves commentary, developer commentary thing, and he mentioned how he was building those dig things, and uh, I thought this might be an alternative that's a bit more advanced. It's a little cooler, I think, um, than having the dig things requires less from the player, because all they have to do is break one block instead of having to dig through, like, 15 blocks, you know? Um, I don't know. So I will be sending this to Vex, and uh, hopefully it might get into a map. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool, uh, because I'm a big fan of Vex. And uh, if you've check my channel and you see that I'm playing some of his maps, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments, because um, I'd love to hear some feedback. Maybe if anybody thinks they can make it smaller, that'd be really awesome. Uh, but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.